What's going on, y'all? So I recently found out about some recent drama on Twitter, on a Japanese Twitter, about a Japanese artist who did a Splatoon 3 art of Marina getting harassed uh, over here in Western society, accusing him of blackwashing a Japanese-created character by Nintendo. So let's go into this. First and foremost, you don't own anything Japanese. And for the people who don't think like this and have nothing to do with this, like if you're in a black culture or whatever culture, woke culture, remember this has nothing to do with you. These are for people that are ignorant and I'm pretty sure you'd feel embarrassed to see some of the behavior of some of these people with low IQs and just are, are not that intelligent. But I don't understand why you're attacking a Japanese artist who wants to use different color palettes for a octopus character. You don't even know how the Splatoon story works and universe works. It says a lot because the octopus can change around things. Uh, it's pigments if it wants. We're going to go into this and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. But to give you an example, it's, let's, you know, let's take a look at what this person, like he said, so why is Japanese Twitter mad today? Can I get context? And Kagma Lee says they're tired of losers, black Russian characters in anime. Um, Hero uh, right here is going to go into it too, and then we're going to react along the way. But I had to make that statement because it's it's a statement that needs to be understood. Who are you to think you can tell a Japanese what to do with a Japanese creation? You're not creating anything. You don't own any of that, and you have no right to. You have no power whatsoever to. Create something of your own. That's how deranged and delusional you are. Alrighty, check this out. We've got this Japanese artist over on Twitter, BKUB underscore comic, who's also the creator of Pop Team Epic. And mm -hmm. as you can see, they made this Splatoon art that got over 114,000 likes, but got a different sort of reaction from the perpetually angry. So this is another aspect that Nintendo had, but they're squids still. Squids can have different contexts of colors. Explained. And octopuses do that in general. This is not a human, it's just fiction, right? So these are Japanese messing around with Japanese art. They can do whatever they want. It's their it's their art, it's their creation, it's their animation, right? So y'all pay attention to this because we're going to go into some comments and other things too. Now, you know, I can understand why Japan is getting mad too because it's like they already dealt with the Yasuke stuff. They're dealing with a lot of disrespect towards their culture and they get tired of the hypocrisy and the double standard nonsense. Angry, always bizarre, terminally online Why crowd on Twitter, along with crying about- Ain't no way they whitewashed her. You see this? This is a Japanese character. Japanese being the sun back in the days. I've talked to people about this uh, during the Assassin's Creed controversy. Their skin tones can be like that. Indians can be darker than this. Some Chinese were this color too. Some Spaniards can have this type of color. Some Hispanics down in Mexico can have this type of color. Who do you think that a color is bound to you like you have the power to represent it as if it represents you universally? Colors don't belong to human beings. There's pigments, but if you are defined by color, to me, you are slow. You have a political identity disorder in your brain. Colors belong to be free and to be represented how they want. It, it, the color black does not belong to the human race. The color white does not belong to the human race. Colors existed before you were even created. So they're defined by what they are, not by political identity. On top of, this is a Japanese creation. You're not Japanese. You didn't create Splatoon. It's Nintendo's IP. You have nothing to do with it. So you have no say and no power in it whatsoever. Let me help you out because I come in when people are, are done wrong again, like I said. Uh, a lot of people have been picking on Japan, so I'm coming to back them up. And I'm telling the truth here. We're, we're using intelligence here, not mental disorders and low level uh, behavior. About this, they also want to kill the guy over that art. Oh, we don't really mean it. It's just a joke. Yeah. Do you see that? Are we ready? Look at this CJ mod being enforced in the Silent Hill. But they didn't say anything about it, right? 63k cj being enforced into sparking zero by the way rockstar made that who's british and caucasian but do you see this cj on the cj game has my this this mentality uh see that putting him into uh other games too cj 
without also being enforced into Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is where they get fed up with and they get tired of the, uh, the double standard and they don't say anything. But can you imagine? You, you see what I'm saying? This is an insult to the Arthur. They do not care about insulting the Arthur. They only care about self-inserting themselves into works enforcing compliance. If you ever disagree with them, they call you names like races to get their way. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going, y'all. So, yes, I'm a bit tired of these two. Racism against Japanese people seems to be tolerated on Twitter. No wonder so many people are leaving for better sites. I mean, they're still on there, but for the most part, they have a right. This is clearly racism towards Japanese culture and Japanese people. So, do, 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 do we understand this, y'all? Like, how ridiculous that is? So we can go read some stuff on his posts. I thought this was funny. He says, they may not be able to create, but they can plagiarize. So he's talking about people with that type of mindset. I mean, I think everybody within them has the natural ability to do that. But I can understand what he means by a large ratio scale. It's something that, you know, that needs to be talked about. When we talk about, why are you doing this? And why don't you go create your own stuff? Why are you attacking something that is not your creation? So... This is not a racist statement. This is them being fed up and saying, instead of play plagiarizing, why don't you go create? They've had enough. I can't see that being seen as racist, but some people will try to say that. Yet, you think it's okay to send death threats, attack other people, um, and just be disrespectful and rude to a culture that's done so much for you growing up as a child, gave you so much anime, gave you so much entertainment, gave you so much video games. What have you done for them? For people that are like that, or for people uh, of the black culture that didn't do that, you, you don't have anything to do with this. This is for the people that are embarrassing you that I'm pretty sure you're getting tired of them too because you're like, I'm tired of being represented that way. Uh, all they do is embarrass us. Yeah, that's very true. So let's continue this. Yeah, like your life. Death threats. Hi, chat. I fixed it. What do we do? Just hop in a time machine and go back to 2020? Like, I can't believe people are still acting like this. So that's just a few of many examples. Unfortunately, BKUB, the artist, actually capitulated to these termly online weirdos, which is obviously a bad move, but here's what he says. Regarding the content of this fan art, I received a response that this was racism against black people because the character's skin is depicted as lighter than it. And this guy got guilt tripped and, and, and he's trying to be nice, but he didn't have to do this because he, 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 that's something you shouldn't do. Stand up for yourself. In the original work, I also believe that if okay. Lita, Lita were human, he would be black. Sorry, my coloring skills are poor, so it's not accurate. However, other Japanese people were not having this apology, responding and saying things like, don't worry. It's in a lot of things. It's, it's, it's like I was saying, it's like, what does that have to do with anything? Remember, they're Japanese. This happens in Naruto. This happens in a lot of things, and it just gets way out of control. And they sit there and they allow you to do it and they didn't say anything, but yet you want to harass them for their own art. This is where I say that you're kind of retarded. Like the people that are like that. And retard means necessarily you're slow. You have some type of mental disorder. It's not to insult. No, it's an actual, because there's many definitions to it. It's, it's like you're slow. There's something wrong with your brain. You're not really seeing things from an intelligent perspective. They're doing it too, and posting these examples. A response saying, this is clearly racism towards Japanese people and Japanese culture. The people who make those edits should really apply for a job over at Ubisoft. Another response saying, they whitewashed Obama, and that one got over 83,000. He's not black, neither is Kamala Harris. Once again, you see what I mean? This political identity mindset, it's highly delusional and it's not intelligent. Don't ever try to reason with it and don't waste your time with people like that. If they don't want to listen to intelligence and reason, you're dumping everything uh, into them and you're wasting your time. You're not going to get anywhere in life with somebody like that. Just telling you the truth. And likes. Here's a response with over 30. They separated themselves from unity. They don't function correctly. 36,000 likes that reads, racism against black people is a white person's problem. So don't drag unrelated Japanese people into it. If you want to do atonement, then do it between white people and black people. Octopuses have the ability to change the color of their bodies. Study National Geographic and try again. That's true about the octopuses, but the point about racism is like, no, that, that's actually a Jew problem. Racism is not a human 
begin with. But we need to deal with ignorance when we call it out at the highest ratio. Whoever has it, you have to deal with that. How are you going to improve? Like if you're playing sports and these people are doing the worst, you say, okay, this group needs more folks than others. So the coach has to be more harder on them. He has to be rough. He has to put them in shape. Sometimes being nice is not the way to, to, to help people get better. You need to roughen up some people. You see what I mean? If a pit bull is coming at you and it's angry, you're not going to sit there and be nice to it. No, 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 no. You have to deal with it in a different nature. So when you're dealing with this type of mindset, there's certain ways to fix it. Apologizing like the other dude did, he may mean well, but it's not going to work and it's not going to help. You have to know how to approach it and deal with it. And I have to say that he's wrong about this statement in a sense of racism against black is a white person. Problem. It's not. No, it's a, it's a problem with themselves and a problem with people who also victimize and indoctrinate like the Jewish culture. So we have to start dealing with people individually rather than saying it's just this, because that's just like looking at somebody with a certain skin tone and saying it would be their problem wholly. That, that's not correct. You know what I mean? I'm all about what's correct. And I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same way, whether no matter what culture or race you are. You see. Once again, this is just a few examples of many, many Japanese people defending BKUB. Oftentimes mm -hmm. in the past, Japanese people seemed reluctant to defend each other in these sort of situations, but now it seems like many Japanese people are sick of these Twitter cops. And that's certainly the case outside yeah. of Japan as well. In this video, I mostly showcased responses from Japanese people. However, people from all across the world have largely been mocking the Twitter police. Now let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. As always, thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed my brief coverage, consider liking and or subscribing. Good little short video, bro. But let me know what y'all think about this from Japan over here in Western society too. And definitely also if you're part of the black culture and say, this doesn't represent me because that's not who I am. Yeah, I mean, that exists, right? Because we're not saying all oh, 100% of you and all 100% over here. No, 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 no. We're talking about culture problems. We're talking about toxic mindsets. We're talking about people who are immature, people who are undeveloped. There is higher ratios in certain cultures, but... The thing here is to understand that you're not going to improve if nobody's telling you the truth and just let you go like that. And walking around like, you know, you could be a hypocrite, but then when it's your turn to receive it, it's it's not OK, but it's OK for you to do that and be blind to it. No, let's stop with the double standard nonsense. And if you thought somebody was being sort of racist towards you and you say it's your turn now and you want to do that to them, you're worse because you're not taking the opportunity to be better. Real racism is like living oppression, not giving someone the opportunity that they're qualified to get, and yet making their life way more miserable and oppressing them in real life. Not these little stupid little words and nonsense online, it's childish nonsense. Not what real racism really is compared to all of this petty nonsense. Like grow up. Train your intelligence, please, because it's very embarrassing. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think. Peace out.